Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about a number of conversations in audio format on a variety of topics from social, psychological, mental and emotional, and um, all other points in between. We try to do that as often as we can, many times daily, but several times per week. We've got over 600 audios available for your listening pleasure, and we tried to add to that. If there's something you want to see added, please comment below. If you're looking for a coach to try to get yourself better known for what you're good at and can increase visibility, I work with people in the visibility sector on a consistent basis. Would love to do that for you. Um, and so there's a couple ways you can do that. You can reach out on Twitter at PO Perception, or you can reach out through my website that's right here in the About Me section here on YouTube. Either way, we'll get you in contact with me pretty easily. And so would love to be of service to you in that way. But as far as getting known, uh, that's going to be the concept of this particular audio. The, the first is grow. The more you're willing to grow, the more you're willing to be around people who are growing, um, the, the easier it is to be known because people watch what other people do when they learn, when they put themselves in new social situations. The more new people you meet, the more new things you do, the more you become known in your community, both globally, online and offline. And so doing new things is a great way to bring that forward because then you can rise. Rising above adversity is another way to be known. People are always looking for ways to solve problems. Imagine, I want you to think, how many conversations have you had this month or this week or even today with somebody that's dealing with some problem? If you have a solution uh, to their problem, even if it's try this, try that, have you considered? If you have that, you become valuable because they they think you're helping them to rise. But also, people watch how you rise above difficult situations. The more rise mentality you are in, the more focused you are on beating your own challenges, the easier it becomes for people to see your value in a meaningful way. And that's why problem solving is important. It doesn't even mean that you need to have the complete solution to any problem, but the willingness to work on problems or challenges as it relates to personal, professional, uh, business, financial, whatever have you, the more value you have because you'll be known as a person who can come up with solutions. Now, the important thing is don't come up with the solutions that everyone already knows or that you've searched on the internet and, you know, any person can find with a quick Google machine search. Instead, focus on finding unique ways to articulate some basic principles and concepts you might have found, but in a way that directly relates to the person that's in front of you. The more unique and personalized a solution is, the more valuable you appear. The next is be willing to take intelligent risks. So everything is a risk. Going outside your house is a risk because you could get hit by a car. Talking to a new person is a risk because they could reject you. But the more you research the risk you're about to take and the more you look at your ability to to respond and be um, be what matters to you and be focused on that and take risks based on what you're willing to you know, a mentor of mine when I was a teenager and, and co-running my first business said, never, never risk, never invest what you can't afford to lose. Whether that's your time, whether that's your money, whether that's whatever. Be intelligent about the risks you take. And if you can't afford to lose something, don't put it on the line because you have to think that loss is possible from every point but not focus on the loss. Just know it's a possibility and be flexible with how to get around it should it arise. The next thing is be your best, whatever that is. Do not compete with other people. It's completely useless and a waste of time. Your best, if you're focused on that every day for a year, every day for five years, every day for 10 years, you're automatically going to be better than most people because most people are so consumed with watching what other people are doing. They, they forget how much they have lost time, energy, and effort towards the comparison game. Instead, focus on being at your best in every motion and every, at every point 
And the more you do that, the easier it will be for you to find, you know, ways that you can improve for yourself and not so much for others. Now, learning from what other people's people are doing can be helpful, but in the at the end of the day, you've got to know your own value and be able to live that and then find your rules. Find the things in your life that you won't break for anyone. If it's what you won't do in certain situations, if it's that you won't fight, if it's that you won't um, get into a legal battle with somebody, if it's that you won't, um, you know, yell in public, if it's that you won't beg to stay in a relationship, find your rules and don't break them. Now, every rule can be challenged and challenging your internal rules is a great idea. Doing that a couple times a year is a good idea, but know the rules you won't break. I know that for me, it, just as a personal example, I would never date a person that didn't have a steady employment because I've done that before and it didn't work out for me. Now, doesn't mean I haven't done it, doesn't mean I didn't learn from it, but I won't do it again under any circumstance. And that's just a, that's a me thing. Now, there are people that might have different rules about different things. I have many rules about things I won't do. But at the end of the day, you've got to live your rules and believe in them and don't keep rules that are other people's. Keep them because they're yours and they're your true convictions and beliefs. And hopefully that's helpful to you. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.